Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can easily set the header and footer content for presentation slides in PowerPoint. If you want to set the header and footer for only selected slides in PowerPoint, then first click to select the slides to which to apply the header and footer content you are going to set in the slide thumbnails pane. If you need to select multiple slides in the slide thumbnails pane, hold down the shift or control keys on your keyboard as you click to select either multiple adjacent or non-adjacent slide thumbnails respectively. To set the header and footer content of a presentation slides in PowerPoint, then click the insert tab in the ribbon. Then click the header and footer button in the text button group to open the header and footer dialog box. Note that there is a slide tab and a notes and handouts tab at the top of the dialog box that you can click to separately set the header and footer content for the selected slides versus all the notes and handouts in the presentation. To set the header and footer for the presentation's selected slides in PowerPoint, click the slide tab if needed. Then check the checkboxes in the Include on Slide section for the header and footer content you want to include. Uncheck the checkboxes for the content you want to exclude. The choices are date and time, slide number, and footer. The area in the slide where the selected content will appear based on the currently applied slide master layout is shown in the preview section at the right side of the dialog box. If you check the date and time checkbox, then set whether the date and time updates automatically or is fixed by selecting either the update automatically or fixed option button. If you select the update automatically option button, then use the three adjacent dropdowns to select the date and time formatting, the language, and the calendar used. If you select Fixed, then enter the date and time value to show into the adjacent field. If you check the Footer checkbox, then enter the footer information to show into the adjacent field. To hide the header and footer information on the title slide, check the Don't Show on Title Slide checkbox at the bottom of this tab. To apply the slide header and footer settings to the currently selected slides, then click the Apply button at the bottom of the header and footer dialog box. Alternatively, to apply the slide header and footer settings to all the presentation slides, click the Apply to All button instead. To set the header and footer content for all the notes and handouts in a PowerPoint presentation, click the Notes and Handouts tab at the top of the header and footer dialog box. The header and footer content options for notes and handouts are almost the same as for slides. However, notes and handouts also have a header checkbox option that you can check and then add header content into the adjacent field if desired. Unlike slides, however, you cannot hide the header and footer content for notes and handouts from the title slide. To apply your header and footer settings to all the notes and handouts in the presentation after setting them, Click the Apply to All button at the bottom of the header and footer dialog box. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.